protect your anointing. God chose you for a reason. The Lord handpicked you for a reason. And that reason was to make sure that you walk in your destiny and your purpose. There are so many of us that have been through the fire. We've been through all kinds of stuff. But this time now, we call that the purification process. God has pruned you. He's brought you all, all, He brought you out of all kinds of difficult issues, all kinds of difficult stuff. Now you are able to stand and trust and believe in Him, no matter what comes your way. The anointing, I talked about it last night, coming home. The anointing on your life will intimidate people. The anointing on your life will open doors for you. The anointing on your life will even cause unknown troubles for you. But that is why God placed it on your life. That's why God placed the oil on your life because he knew that you could carry the burdens. He knew not that the burdens, he knew that you could carry it. Whatever it is that he placed on you, he gave you something that will protect you. One of the things he gave us was the Holy Spirit. He told us, he said, I'm not going to leave you by yourself. I'm going away to my father, but I'm going to send to you the Holy Spirit. Everything in your life that God has given you, you have to protect it. You have to protect it from people that will want to come into your world. And sometimes if you don't have the discernment of your spirit, of the spirit of the living God, they come into your world to, 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 to take away what God has placed inside of you. But I want you to tell somebody this evening, this Sunday evening, this Sunday morning, this Sunday afternoon, I want you to tell somebody that what is been made and fashioned in my life is idiosyncratic. It was still made just for me. Hallelujah. Don't, 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 don't play with the power of God in your life. Don't, 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 don't play with a woman or a man of God that is, that frequency is high. Ha, ha, ha in the power of the living God. They can speak a thing on your life and if you're not careful, you will drop dead. Why? Because you put your mouth on the child of God. Be careful. Be careful how you open this mouth to speak to people. Be careful what you say to them. Be careful because they might look a little bit crazy in front of you, but you have no clues. The power, the power that they carry inside of them. The Bible talks about uh, 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 Peter and, and John and those folks in, uh, that, were, uh, that were Jesus' disciples. Many of them were uneducated. The one that was educated was Luke. He was a doctor. But the ones that were not on, the one that did not gain education went to this place I think it was the gate of beautiful and they saw this man and this man was beckoning them for money and they said we don't have no money we don't have education we don't have nothing but the one thing that I do have my katarabo I said the one thing that I do have in my life is Christ Jesus and I give it to you get up and walk you have to command things that have been bothering your, bothering your life you have to command it to go you have to command confusion out your doors are were plenty that came in your life plenty from the enemy from the devil to use and misuse you to manipulate your gift god said i command them to go the holy ghost said they gotta go and tell somebody they got to go doesn't mean that you cry. No, 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 no. This ain't the season to do that. This is the season to say, God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for removing every demonic stuff out of my life. Every traditional a man or woman that wants to come around me that does not have a good heart. You remove them. They, they're there to use you. They're there to steal your anointing. They're there to see if they can do it better, better than you can. But God said, what I've done for you. It was faction and tillamate. The oil on your life was faction and tillamate. Can nobody walk the shoes that you have walked in? Don't nobody have your fingerprint. Even if you're a twin, nobody has your fingerprint. Everybody has their own individual fingerprint. You are so unique. This is why many times when people see you, even though you are going through crisis, but you don't even look like your crisis. Hey! 
Soko Rebe Sata. You are going through some stuff in your life that sometimes it makes you want to just give up, but you have said to yourself, For Christ I live and for Christ I shall perish. I learn to trust in the Lord. I learn to have confidence in Jesus. I learn to give my all in all to God because He's the only one that is able to do all things but fill in my life, in your life. He's able. Don't give up. The one thing He wants you to do is protect what I've given you. Protect what I've given you. Hold on to it. Use it for my glory. Don't use it for selfish use. Use it for my glory. Paul said in the book of Corinthians, he says, some come to imitate me. They come to preach the word of God as if they, as if they are already preaching the word of God, but they just want to imitate me. But that's okay because at, as long as you are calling on the name of Jesus, something happens. The book of Luke said, it is that at the mention of the name of Jesus, that every knee must bow. So we call on the name of Jesus this afternoon. The name of Jesus in your sickness. The name of Jesus in your problems. The name of Jesus under everything, over everything that tries to come against you. The name of Jesus is a, is a powerful weapon, a powerful gift that the Lord gave us. It's that name. And at the mention of that name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess in the name of Jesus. Jesus. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. God is worthy to be praised. God is worthy to be praised. I'm saying God is worthy to be praised. Many of you don't realize the God that you serve. How, how great and how, how, how awesome he is. How, how, how mighty he is. How, how glorious he is. We don't understand that the, 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 the God that we, we come to each and every day to praise. That God got you kept. He's a God that keeps his children. Nothing should make you afraid. Nothing should move you. Even if the husband wants to go, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. If, if you pick your own husband, God will take him away from you. If you pick your own wife, God will take her away from you and give you what it is that you desire. And that's what I'm praying for. God, I thank you. Give me the desire of my heart. Give me what you think is best for me, oh God. The best husband in the world. Yes, Lord. That's what I'm praying for. And if he never comes, always know that Jesus Christ is your husband. He's your first love. He's the one that captivates your heart. He's the one that does everything for you. Everybody else will come and say words and go. Not Jesus. <coughs> Excuse me. Not Jesus. Not Jesus. Let's take a look here. I want to talk. I want to, I want to take a look at a little bit uh, with uh, <coughs> Rebecca and <coughs> excuse me and her mess seven. Everybody else will leave you. But the Lord God Almighty, whose name is Yeshua, Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Meskidu, Jehovah Tiskinu, Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah Ruach. Every other person will leave you by yourself, not Jehovah. Let's take a look at Rebecca and her mid seven. The Bible says that Jacob went to find him a wife, right? Yeah. He went to Laban, his uncle, to find him a wife. He already knew when he sent Rebecca, he already knew that's what I want. That, that is who I want. A man that is focused a man that knows what he wants in this life does not go back and forth with a woman. You don't 
go back and forth. I love you today. I hate you tomorrow. I love you today. I hate you tomorrow. There has got to be some maturity inside of you to tell you that, listen, when my wife or my, 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 my fiance is happy, the household is happy. So which means I got to watch myself. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to watch myself. Men out there, you got to watch the tone of your voice. If you don't want, if you want peace, then you must allow God to create shalom in your family. But if you don't want peace, then God will remove his children out of your life. That's right. That's how it works. And, 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 and Jacob knew exactly what he wanted. He wanted Rebecca. The Bible says that Rebecca was beautiful in form. Her eyes, everything about her was gorgeous. And, and she was very, very submissive. Why? She was not submissive to a foolish man. She was submissive to a man after God's heart. Uh huh. She played that role carefully. And, and, and God allowed him to play his role carefully. He worked for her for 14 years. He worked. He worked and continued to work. <laughs> Jesus, man, I want you to hear this. He continued to work for his lady until he possessed the land after 14 years, until he possessed her. And even when he got her, the mid seven, he still said, the mid, uh, 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 living said, uh, you know, the oldest one cannot go before the, the younger one. The younger one has to go. I forgot her name. Oh, and, 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 and he ended, ended up marrying the mid seven. And every time she was, the, the thing is that, you see, when there's a calling on your life, when God has chosen you to be that vessel of honor, when God has chosen you to be the one to carry the baton, when God has chosen you to be the one to carry the, the mantle, everything is going to fall crazy around you. And sometimes you will think you're losing your mind. But guess what, uh, babies? You're not losing your mind. It is the hands of God unfolding right in front of you. And... Uh, 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 Rebecca said, but listen, I have my husband, but I'm barren. I can't have children. That's what they said now. You are barren. Right now, you can produce. Right now, you can do it, but not what God says. Who report are you? Whose report are you going to believe? I believe the report of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so, let, let, let me just cut this real short uh, 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 for, for the broadcast. Listen, and those of you men, uh, 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 what the Bible said that Jacob con uh, uh, continued to have babies uh, by, 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 by. By the, 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 the mid seven. And every time they would have a baby, she would say, Oh, this time Jacob is going to love me even the more. And every time she would have another baby, she would name that child and she would say, Oh, this time my husband would love me more than he loved his wife. Uh, even though I'm also his wife, but I think he would love me more even then because I'm giving him children. Six children she bore for Jacob. But the heart of Jacob was not within those, what, what in her. But guess who heart was, who heart had her? The Lord God Almighty. Jesus Christ had her and said, I know you've been through all this stuff. You've had all these children yet and still your husband does not love you. Ah, glory to God. But I love you and I bless you and your children. Go forth. Go on. Our God is a dangerous God. Don't play. Don't play. Don't play with him in this season. Don't play with his people in this season. Don't touch his anointed ones. Because what he has, uh, uh, what he has placed over our lives is, like I said, it's idiosyncratic. It was telemade just for us. All of you out there that are covered under the anointing, under the, over the oil, the oil of God is over your life. All of you all, 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 all on the broadcast that don't understand who you are. You are a child of the most high God. You are lifted up high. You are his You are His daughter. You are his son. You are what he has created you to be. It's time now that you stop pleasing people. We are not people pleasers anymore. Uh -huh. She pleased her husband and pleased her husband by having so many children yet and still he did not find favor with her there was no favor rebecca had the favor and in the end she ended up breathing the what the promised child who, who who was um um isaac wait on your time 
no matter how old you get in this earth or in this world God is the same God of yesterday today and forever that's why he placed the oil over your life that's why he placed the anointing over your life that's how he placed the covering over your life so you can realize who you are you are a child of the most high God no matter what comes your way always know that God got me I'm covered under the anointing I'm under a blood covenant by Jesus Christ of Nazareth what he did on that cross oh my god it has set set me free it has liberalized me therefore I can go forth don't give up don't give up don't give up keep moving forward don't give up don't look left don't look right keep moving forward I don't care who come in your life and go and come in your life want to come back in your life to not accept those people back in your life God is removing them out of your life for a reason God is removing them out of your life because he doesn't want your heart to hurt he doesn't want your heart to hurt beloved he doesn't want you to go through pain this is your time now to show he's getting ready to show you off in the world so he don't want you to go through anything glory hallelujah protect the anointing and protect the oil on your life it is relevant you have to protect that glory be to God almighty I must go for now y'all God bless you so much God strengthen each and every one of you I pray the power of God over your life to break everything that will try to come against you against your family members against your progress everything that will try to hinder your walk with Christ I come against it right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus every demonic altar where they carry our names we command those altars to turn over we command those altars to be burned by fire of the Holy Ghost we command those altars to be up uprooted or destroyed destroy sabotage in the name of jesus listen i love you guys so much you know who this is pastor life as usual I just came to bless somebody this evening as the holy spirit leads me god bless you happy sunday to everybody god bless you